you so much for having us here. I'm curious, I, I've seen the structure being built over the last little while, stunning. How long have you guys actually been in here now permanently? We've been fully functional with the crews at the station here for three weeks. Do you have a favorite element or place or spot? Is there something that you enjoy the most? I like the app bays, you know, the truck bays, because they're just, it's nice there, right? It's sort of the, the spot. And it's very modern from the front. Well, the idea of the building, I mean, there's a lot of glass here, was to take advantage of our, our uh, position on the lot so that we could use the environment to our uh, benefit. Where's your office? Is it here? We, could, we can go for a stroll. Our first stop past reception is three workstations for firefighters who need a study area for their continued education. Have some privacy to study or do computer work. Well, these are the next two offices. This is my office and Curtis's office. Very nice. Daphne. In the administration part, this is Simon, the fire prevention officer, Captain Callhill. Yes. He works out of there. Oh, this is cool. What Sean's doing right now is he's, uh, I'm not sure what jurisdiction he's working, but he's got a call running right now. He answers the emergency line from here, mm -hmm. um, takes a call. If it populates through the 911 line, it'll give us all the information on the screen. He types it in as he goes. He, he can uh, sit at that desk all day if he wanted to, but on, on the flip side, he, uh, you get tired of sitting, see how everything elevates. If you call 911 on your cell phone right now, it actually goes to Prince George RCMP, and they pick it up and they say, police, fire, ambulance, and if you say fire, they say hold and transfers and it rings right here. I would have never known that. Sean goes on to tell us that when you ask for an ambulance, that call actually goes through to Kamloops. In our, in our equipment here, if you phone on cell phone, we actually do get the XY coordinates of your cell phone from the location you're calling from. So, so you know exactly where to find Well, it. within so many it. meters, little, right? It tells you how close you are yeah. within 100 meters, within 50 yeah. meters. So at that point, Sean might ma dispatch from map because we don't have an address, right? So we had a guy calling on a quad accident in the middle of nowhere, and we got him. And due to those GPS coordinates, they were able to locate the caller. This is our, our kitchen day room. This is nice. The crew never had a proper table at the old fire hall, so this addition has been great for the family dynamic. The kitchen table has uh, become such a focal point for a morale booster. We, at coffee time, we sit, we sit around, talk. There could be 10 of us here. Back down the hall, we take the exit where the truck operator would check over the location before heading out to a call. Yeah. Just for his own personal reference, to, he'll look at uh, this map on the way by and pinpoint it because every one of those little yellow dots is actually the address of the house. So the pole comes out here into the app bay. Now to the hockey change room style area. The concept behind this building is this side of the building is the dirty side of the building, right? So we don't go with this stuff to the clean side. Right. So we have an air exchange that filters the air here. Down below here we have, you see the pipes? Yes. They blow hot air into the gear to dry it after a call. Is that hot air a good idea for the <laughs> it's not. It doesn't smell like hockey uh, gear. Okay, you're right. We then walk through to the hose storage room. That freaked me out, Fred. <laughs> Somebody's having a timeout for bad behavior. So Don't worry, that is just the practice dummy for the training that the firefighters consistently partake in. What happens in here is after the fire call, uh, we bring our hose, we can either drag it through the wall on the wall mount washer okay. and we wash it or in the off season when it's too cold outside. The debris and the chemical off the hose to prolong the life of the hose and then we have to hang to dry. Well some people aren't familiar with like the Niederman system which is the uh, exhaust hose system. This would be on the truck, right? So right. we put it on the truck. So the truck gets a call, the truck dries. For when it's on and enclosed, it's just taking the, the toxins. Yeah. And on return from a call, routine is to... They come back from a call, air bottles go in like that. With, uh, so we wash the, uh, the entire air pack if it's got debris on it, mm -hmm. uh, bottles charged. Once sanitized, the air bottle is then refilled. Outside this work area is lots more storage and a shop for repairs. And there is some storage right above here, and that's the uh, building IT room from that white wall 
back. So all our IT uh, 911 phone system, house phone system is all maintained through there. Located at 93rd and 93rd, the total project cost over 10 million and is now one of our most standout structures in the energetic city.